Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for programming in Java week 2 assignment. So let's see the first question. They gave a uh, program. So they are asking the output of the above program. So the first question answer is option A. So mark option A as correct answer for first question. Moving on to the second question. When an array is passed to a method, what value does the method receive? So for second question, the answer is option A, reference to the reference of the array. So mark option A. Moving on to third question, what is the output of the above program? So the answer for third question is option C, 30. We will get 30 as the output. So mark option C for third question. And fourth question, how many bits are needed for float and double in Java respectively. So for float we need 32, 32 bits and for double we need 64 bits. So option A is the correct answer for fourth question. And moving on to the fifth question, which of the following is a valid automatic type conversion in Java. So the answer for fifth question is option D int to long. So mark option D as correct answer for fifth question. And sixth question they gave a code and they are asking the output. So the answer for sixth question we will get a compilation error. So option D is the correct answer for sixth question. Seventh question. Which of the following is a valid declaration of an object? Uh, suppose uh, the class name is student. So the valid declaration is option B student space of obj means object name is equal new student remember that there should be definitely braces for class name so option B is correct moving on to 8th question what is the output of the following program? They gave a program. They are asking the output. So for 8th question, the answer is option C. 0, 1, 2. So mark option C as correct answer for 8th question. For ninth question, which of the following option is the output of the above program? So they gave a code and they are asking the output. So for this we will get the output as NPTEL. That is option D. Option D is correct answer for ninth question. Moving on to the final question of this assignment. That is tenth question. What is the output of the following program? So for this program, the output will be a compilation error. That is option D again. So mark option D as correct answer for 10th question. So friends, these are the solutions regarding week 2 programming in Java quiz assignment. So hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubt, Please comment in the comment section. So I will try to reply to those valid queries. Oh. So for further weekly videos and also 
uh, videos regarding uh, other courses please refer our channel and keep supporting us until then goodbye thank you